everybody welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg show uh, today I'm going to be doing a little project so I thought I'd bring you along with me uh, I'm going to be rewebbing these chairs um, they're really really old um, I'll bring you up closer here and you can see how it's coming apart there's one there where the screws gone and starting to tear when they sit on them you can feel them breaking and tearing apart um, Here's this one here is almost broke through. <clears throat> They've been sitting for yeah, probably about at least 10 years in the shed, not being used. And uh, one reason I didn't use them is I didn't care for the color. Uh, my ex-wife left these behind. I guess she thought I liked pink. I don't know. But anyways, uh, didn't use them much because of the color mostly. And uh, I do have another patio set. But uh, I want to get these going right now because I haven't brought my other regular patio set out. And uh, because I gotta restain my deck, and uh, I thought in the meantime I'd be using these chairs on the deck because they're real easy to move around. Um, so I'm gonna reweb them and change the color of them and see how it goes. It's not really a how to video, it's just more of a before, during, and after video. And then I'll leave a couple links in the description that of other websites that kind of show how to do it. Uh, never did it before, but uh, my first suggestion is take pictures and uh, uh, video or whatever you want and make sure you remember how each of them go which you know over and under and over and under where which ones where so take plenty of pictures so in case you get confused during the middle of the process you can look back on your pictures and see where you're at uh, the webbing was readily available on Amazon there's tons of colors you can pick from um, my webbing I, I got two rolls I thought they were going to be both the same, uh, but they're two different. So I guess one goes crossways and the other one goes lengthways. Um, I guess that's your choice of how you want to put them. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, some have hooks and some have screws in them. These have screws in them. Um, there is one screw missing, so I will have to make a trip to the hardware store to finish the last one. But I be, should be able to get at least two, two of them done, almost three, except for that one screw. And uh, I'm going to make room on my workbench here at the workshop. And uh, so I figured that would be better than working outside so I don't lose any screws. So let's get inside and get working on it. And uh, I'll just show you uh, as I get going and some of it. And uh, just partway th little pieces through as I go along. So let's get going. Okay, this is uh, all the supplies I think I'm going to need. Is just I'm using this... Uh, magnetic tray to put the screws in it so I won't lose them and then uh, scissors and uh, tape measure and uh, then I got my two rolls of uh, webbing and you can see how they're both different so I'll use one lengthways and the other one crossways not sure which one yet what I'm gonna do yet but um, I did take loosen the screws up and they come out loose real easy they're not tight at all so that's no problem uh, one thing I did notice is um, these have a grommet in them, which the new webbing won't have a grommet. And I, I know online uh, the people, they don't um, put grommets in them. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some washers while I'm at the store getting that other screw and uh, put a washer on there so that when I do tighten them, it's not digging into the fabric. So, and it also give it a little bit more surface area to keep it tight. So I'm going to pick up 93 washers for all three chairs and then one more screw and that should be good when I'm at the store and I can finish that. Um, but just wanted to show you what, what's there. So I'm going to start taking these apart. Um, probably doing one by one uh, so I don't get them mixed up. But not, I guess I could look on my video. But I'll just do one by one and uh, cut them. And then uh, I measured, I took one of these and tore it apart. And uh, it looks like it's about two inches past the hole. So I can just uh, measure from hole to hole and then measure it, add another four inches. And that should get me right after I fold it. And then uh, the screw should be right in the center of the triangle. So that should turn out pretty easy, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Doesn't look as hard as I thought it was gonna be. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm on the last uh, one here, uh, not the last chair, but the last uh, 
uh, roll of this stuff here to put on. Um, I did run and get the washers and I bought two extra screws and that was like $4.63. Um, it would have been a lot more if I bought all the washers individually, but they had a box of 100, so I bought that. Because uh, I, I needed 93 of them, so that saved a lot of cents. Otherwise, the washers would have been 16 cents a piece. Um, so I got one more to go here and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do all three. I might be able to just do the other, uh, smaller chair. I'm not sure about the lounger yet. Um, cause the, the rolls are going down pretty quick, quicker than I thought. I thought there would be enough for two of, or for all three of them. But, um, one thing I did do is I'm not sure if I told you it was a quarter inch socket that you need, uh, to get the screws out. And um, I added this. I need, ended up using this to poke through the fabric to get the screws through. That helped a whole lot. So um, we're moving along. I'll keep on going and I'll check back in with you in a little bit and let you see how far that went. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to have enough to get all of them done. I'm probably going to have to order two more rolls uh, to finish the lounger chair. But uh, it's coming along. It took me a little while to get going. It's a... Uh, once you get the once you get the the trick here, the realize how to do it, uh, then then it goes right along pretty good. But the first one or two were a little bit tricky. It took me a while, but I didn't give up. So I'll see you in a little bit. Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I got them all finished. Uh, this is the next day actually. I finished them last night. It was kind of late. Uh, it was about ten o'clock when I left my work. All right, I'm really sorry about the wind noise. Um, uh, this is all that I had left of the webbing. Uh, I didn't think I was going to even have enough. I thought I was going to have to order more when I was half, halfway through the project. But amazingly enough, uh, there was enough to do all three of these. Um, one thing I do recommend if you're going to do it yourself is uh, make sure you get one of those aw awls to poke through the holes. Um, it's it's really really hard if you didn't have that um, I'm pretty happy how they turned out um, if they're gonna last I don't know it kind of depends on the webbing how it's made and stuff we'll have to see um, is it worth doing it that's the big question huh um, I guess that kind of depends on the condition of your chairs they have to be in good condition and um, all the hardware and stuff there if you got to go out and buy a whole bunch of hardware it's probably not worth it uh, if the structure of the frame and stuff isn't good probably not worth it uh, another thing that would be a big factor in deciding uh, whether to do it or not is uh, your your mechanical abilities uh, this took a little bit more than uh, the average person I would say could pro probably do I would say maybe 50 percent of the people out there could do this and I'd say the other 50 percent couldn't um, because they're not, you know, just, they're just not used to working with tools and stuff. Um, so I would say, I, it kind of depends on the person and on your, on your chair frame and stuff. And as long as all the bolts are there and they all come loose and they all tighten up, uh, then it'd probably be a good project. Um, and you gotta have some, a few minor tools, nothing serious or anything, but, um, is it worth it is dollar wise i i would say yeah probably because this uh cost me with the hardware that i bought and uh some of it i probably wouldn't even have had to bought i could have probably maybe got by without it uh but i i thought i'd be better with it um cost me 28 dollars and 61 cents to do all three of these chairs and i would say for a, i'd say they'd last a minimum of two years um uh, that would be a minimum i'm guessing they're going to last way longer than that so yeah, for $28, you get three nice chairs out of it. And uh, very, very comfortable that lounger is. That's the thing I wanted to sit in out here the most. Um, until I get my patio restained, as you can see, it needs needs restaining. And uh, this will be easy to move around until I get my other furniture out here uh, after I get it stained. Uh, but anyways, just wanted to show you this little video and uh, show you the before and after. Uh, did take me a lot longer than I planned. Uh, not sure what time I started, 
I think it was maybe two or three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not sure. But then I had to run to town and get those washers and a, a, a screw. And I bought two screws. And I only needed one, but I just in case another one was going to give me problems along the way, I, I bought an extra one. Uh, but uh, uh, that includes the time running to town. And I didn't get done till 10 o'clock last night. So I don't know exactly what time I started. It might have been two, three. I don't know what time I started actually. But it took me longer than I thought. <laughs> but anyways, uh, if you got the time and uh, patience and uh, skill with tools and stuff and a few common tools, yes, it's probably worth it. Um, I think the one thing that would help was if you had a helper, uh, two people to help measure it out, hold the ends and uh, cut it and stuff and uh, uh, string it through and help, you know, stuff like that it might make it go a little bit faster. But anyways, just wanted to bring this to you and show you the results and uh, we'll catch you on the next Wisconsin Greg Show. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye now.